morning year eight. Today what we are going to do is we're going to do another bit of practical work. Now last lesson we did some work where you were um, modelling what happened to a population of wolves. Today we're going to do a bit of work that's kind of similar but this time we're going to have a go at measuring the size of a population. Now here's my garden and you will notice there are lots of daisy plants in my garden but exactly how many are there? Now what I could do of course is I could go around and I could count every single one individually. However that is going to take hours. So instead what we are going to do is we are going to take just a small sample of that population and then scale it up. Now to do that I'm going to need the following things. I'm going to need to know how big my garden is. So I've drawn a plan of my garden got a tape measure so that I can measure the area of my garden. I'm also going to need one of these. Now this is a quadrat. What it is, is this is a square that is 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. So it's 0.25 centimetres squared. Now what I've done is I've made one from an old curtain rail that I found. That I've cut up and then stuck together with some tape. Or you could do it out from wood, you could even get a bit of string. Get two metres of string, tie the two ends together, then you've got 0.25 metres square. So, first thing I'm going to do then, is I'm going to go around and I'm going to measure the size of my garden. Okay, so now I've got all the measurements. At a later point, I can go away and I can work out the area uh, of my garden. Uh, obviously, you might not have a great big long tape measure at home. If you don't, use footsteps. Estimate a metre and use that to measure your, uh, your garden. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my quadrat and I'm going to place my quadrat down on the ground in 15 random places. When I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of daisies that I find in each of those areas and record that. Now, obviously, the, the more often I do this, the more reliable my data is going to be. However, for an area this big size, I think 15 repetitions should be okay. So, here we go. So, there we go. I've got my set of results. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go away, we're going to do some calculations, and we're going to use these results to then come up with a figure, an estimation of how many daisy plants are living in my garden. Okay, now I've got all my numbers, we can do some calculations. So here I've got the area of my garden. I worked out that my garden is 244, 0.72 meters squared. Here I've got the area of one of those quadrats, that little square that I was using to sample the daisies. And because that was half a meter by half a meter, that means that it has an area of 0 0.25 meters squared. Here I've got 
all my results that I've collected. So I've got the 15 different tests I did, so my quadrat numbers, and here is the number of daisy flowers that I found in each of those quadrats. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to work out how many quadrats would fit in my garden. Okay, now to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put into my calculator 244.72, the area of my garden, and I'm going to divide it by the area of one quadrat. So that will tell me how many of those quadrats I could fit into my garden. So divided by 0.25 equals 978.8. Eight. That's how many quadrats would fit in my garden. Now the next thing I need to do is I now need to work out the average number of um, uh, daisy flowers that I found in a quadrat, the mean number. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all these numbers together and then divide it by how many times I did the investigation, the experiment. Uh, I did it 15 times. so. Here we go, so I've got 36, I'm not going to bother typing in the zeros, plus 28, plus 4, plus 5, plus 40, plus 15, plus 33, so 161 divided by 15 equals, so the average number A quadrat is, I'm going to round, uh, just going to call that 10.7. So if I know that the average number of daisies per quadrat is 10.7, and I know that I could fit 978.88 quadrats in my garden, so multiply these two together. So I'm going to do 10.7. 7 multiplied by 978.88 equals 10,474.016. Now obviously we can't have 0 0.016 of a daisy, so I'm just going to call that 10,474. So by our estimations, and this is just an estimate, the population of daisy flowers in my garden is 10,474. Okay, so there we go. There's your next bit of practical work for you to do. Now, I appreciate that some of you might not have a garden. If you don't have a garden, you could do this in the park. It might look a bit odd, but you could do this uh, in the park. Uh, you don't have to do daisies. You could do dandelions. You could do buttercups. Uh, you could do animals, you know, uh, perhaps wood lice that you find in each of your, um, your quadrats. Now there's quite a bit to do for this. You've got to measure an area, you've got to make yourself a quadrat, you've got to do the practical itself, you've got to do the calculations. So I'm going to give you your next three lessons to do uh, this bit of practical work. It would be lovely. As normal, if you could post me your results and sort of show me, perhaps even take some photographs or a little bit of film of you doing this experiment. It would be fantastic to see the sorts of things that you've been getting up to. Anything that you don't understand, please just message me uh, and I'll do my best to solve any problems that you've got. Anyway, as ever, I hope you're well and I hope to see you soon.